So I'm here with Kendall Carson. <laughs> And I uh, just want to ask a few questions here. Um, first of all, tell me about your experience here tonight, being on the stage here at Music City Roots. What was it like for you? I had a fabulous time. I, I kind of felt like I was transported back quite a few years, especially, I'm forgetting his name already, but the fellow that does all the announcing. Oh, Eddie Stubbs. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. unreal. Yeah. <laughs> you watch him, it's like, it's like he's been frozen, and then they brought him back to do the announcing. He's Really cool. Very authentic. But huh? just, I mean, I, I'm in love with the idea of these shows where, I mean, like the old time radio thing where it's just, you know, a whole bunch of people, you get to actually hear some of your peers and people just go out and give 25 or 30 wicked minutes of music and totally kick ass. All right. How about Music City, Nashville Music City? What does it mean what to are, you? Well, I, I usually think of nicer weather than what it was today. So I came here when I was about 19 with my brother for few months and hung out and wrote some songs and met people and had a really good time and I've always thought of it as just it's an incredibly friendly city and and it's just so neat that so much of the city is revolves around music. I don't really I don't have too many intimate experiences with it. I I like that the Americana awards are always mm -hmm. held here. It gives me an excuse to come here at least two or three times now. So hopefully I'll be back more and and can actually dig a little bit deeper and get to go to some of the jams with the station in and stuff. I'd like to experience a bit of that. And tell me just a little bit about your journey with Americana. Uh, I started playing fiddle when I was three and a half. I'm now 25, so it's been a few years. Um, sort of grew up doing a twin fiddle thing with my brother, and that sort of morphed into playing with a whole bunch of different bands in and around Victoria, BC, and Vancouver, and starting to travel. I did tons of traveling and playing throughout Europe when I was like 18, 19, 20. And through, with, through one of those bands, the Paper Boys happened to be at the Canmore Folk Festival in Alberta. Ran into Chip and his previous duet partner, Ken Rodriguez. Got to be good friends with them and was just starting to write songs at that point and thinking that I'd at some point like to do a solo thing but had no real plans for it. Um, and so I asked Chip if I could maybe send him a song and just see what he thought. Just once I'd found out a little bit about his background because I didn't know much about him. I knew obviously Wild Thing and Angel of the Morning. It's hard to not know those songs but I didn't know sort of how deep his roots go with music and just how much he's been involved with so many people's careers and just his story is so incredible. Anyway, he's a incredibly nice guy and he said sure send me send me your stuff and he ended up inviting me a few weeks later. He had a break from his, from his tour and he said he said to me I, that most of the things he's done in his life and his career and, and in general he does just based on gut instincts and impulses and he liked what I had sent to my guests and he said, I'm going to fly to New York if you want to come, I'll put you up for 10 days, let's try to write a few songs and see if I can't teach you something about that. I'll book a session for the last two days you're in town, maybe we'll cut a few demos, maybe I'll help you find a little bit of direction, you'll be on your way. Um, he, being very prolific, wrote about six songs before I even showed up that he thought I might want to sing and just he didn't plan it it just sort of it happened you just write songs all the time and I love those songs and we wrote two songs together that trip and then ended up recording the whole first record in the two days in the studio just wow. live and when was but that? It, that was we actually recorded that in 2004 it didn't come out till 2007 Okay. Um, but John Patania played on it and it was a the kind of session where I mean I was just sort of shaking in my boots being there and playing with these guys and just being around them was crazy and to actually fly home with an album and like a solo record that I had no plans of making and I, at that point like I, I sang but I was much more just a fiddle player and didn't really consider myself that much of a singer and then I had a, a record full of singing songs and, and now fast forward we've made another record All Right Dynamite that came out in June and we're working on new stuff already. And you're working with Chip a lot? Like you yeah, well he, a lot? yeah, he, because I'm still, I would still say pretty green as a songwriter and, and and to be able to work with him is just such a gift and, and I appreciate it and I understand how lucky I am to be around him and to just be soaking that up. Um, so yeah, he, he's still writing the bulk of the songs I sing, we've been doing lots of co-writing, he produced both my records and, and I'm released on his label, Train Record, okay. so awesome. it's very much a collaborative effort. But. Um, tell me real quick about where people can get your music, your website, your social network links and such. Sure, um, on MySpace, on Facebook, all that stuff. My name is Kendall, K-E-N-D-E-L Carson, like Johnny, um, and my website's just kendallcarson.com. 
you can get the CDs online all over the place. Awesome. In stores in the States, not in Canada yet. In the okay. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Loved what you did. Right it was on. great. Thanks. And uh, thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. <laughs>